can get out of this. Hmm, think, think. How am I going to avoid going to this thing? Stop it, Yana. Stop it. You never go anywhere. Go out, have fun with your friends. You might have the best time. Hmm, maybe a zombie apocalypse will happen. That might work. Yeah, please, zombie apocalypse. Do you dread the idea of leaving your bubble to engage in any kind of social interaction that takes you away from your comfort zone? Do you get petrified or filled with trepidation just at the thought of having to leave your house to go and talk to someone, spend time in the company of someone or a bunch of people? If this is you then, believe me, I feel your pain. Let's talk about it. So from a very young age, um, when I had the ability to figure out what was going on around me, I have known myself to be very shy, very quiet, very reserved, um, just someone that prefers my own company above all else and for a very long time I was made to feel like this was a flaw like there was something wrong with me Yana why don't you talk why are you so quiet why don't you like to socialize you're boring you're weird I've been called all kinds of names and for most of my life I thought that there was something wrong with me and it further enhanced my inability to want to be around people because I just thought there's something wrong with me. I get no pleasure from constantly being in large circles or even one-on-one -on -one interactions. Now look, I am naturally a quiet, shy person. I tend to be more talkative around people that I'm comfortable with but then that is even as and when I feel the need to step out of my bubble. I'm usually content with just being by myself in silence or being crazy in my own space, in my own comfort. And this is something that I only realized as I got a lot older that is a thing. It's natural. There's nothing wrong with me. And if you are someone that feels or has been feeling as I did, there's nothing wrong with you absolutely not okay, so i'm going to read something um well the personality traits of an introvert and i'm going to be as brief as i can um here are some common personality traits associated with introversion you prefer time to yourself the idea of being home alone is thrilling not taxing these periods of solitude are crucial to an introvert's health and happiness whether you're simply spending time resting or engaging in an activity, solitude is a welcome relief. Introverts often enjoy reading, gardening, crafting, writing, gaming, watching movies, or doing any other activity that's performed alone. Another personality trait is that you are drained, or uh, yeah, um, you are drained by social interactions. You prefer working alone. You have a close circle of friends and like it that way. You are introspective and curious. You're accused of zoning out a lot. You prefer writing over talking. That is definitely me because I'm a writer anyways. But yeah, I would rather send you a long text message and, or, or just converse with you via text than actually pick up the phone and talk to you. That is just my personality. I can't help it. That's just what I prefer. You feel more. <sighs> yeah, so those are some of the um, personality traits that I wanted to share with you someone was walking into my house okay so those are some of the personality traits 
that I wanted to share with you. And if you feel like you relate to any or all of these things, then yes, you're an introvert and it's a thing and it's an okay thing. And I just wish that people would learn to understand that there are different personality types in the world and being different from other people does not make it a flaw. It is not a negative. This is just who we are. And I feel like introverts should, should just be allowed to introvert in peace, please. When I talk about being an introvert, it doesn't necessarily mean that you do not like to spend time with people or socialize, because I do. I just do not like to do it every weekend. And I restrict my time and effort to a small circle of friends because that's just how I feel comfortable. And a lot of people think that when you say you're an introvert, it means that, like, for instance, on my social media, I take loads of pictures, but something that people don't understand is that most of my pictures are either taken by someone that I'm very comfortable with, or I take them myself using a camera and a tripod. So there's no one around me, so I don't need to feel conscious or weird because I'm by myself, which is another part of being an introvert. And what I'm trying to say is this, just because you are introverted does not mean that you do not have some traits of an extrovert. You may like doing certain things that people would consider weird because they're like, you say you're shy, but you enjoy doing this. Because it is not all consuming that, you know, I'm an introvert, so I just don't want to do anything. That's not what it is. It just means that you find pleasure, more pleasure and more peace and feel more energized in your own company. Um, so that's just something that I wanted to clear up. Do not think that because you are an introvert, you are not allowed to enjoy your life or enjoy socializing or enjoy doing things that people consider unintroverted, if that's a word. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've been wanting to talk about this for ages. I've been wanting to try to reach someone that maybe feels how I used to feel, feels like there's something wrong with you because you prefer time alone and you don't want to go out or whatever and people are making you feel bad. Look, I look to this day, people still do it. People still make me feel bad, but I've got to a point where I'm just like, this is who I am. You either take me as I am or you don't. I'm not going to stress myself about it. I'm just going to continue to enjoy being myself and allow people to get to know me for who I am and I encourage you if you feel like this is you to allow people to get to know who you are as you are don't fake it don't pretend don't try to fit in and give yourself a lifetime of discomfort to please other people it is BS don't do it Okay, so that is really all I wanted to talk about I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section if you feel this way, please subscribe, please like, please share, and most importantly, be content with being yourself. It's cool. There's nothing wrong with you. I'm talking too much. I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for watching.